In this unit, we're going to be looking at integers, and specifically with this video, adding integers. But first, what are integers? Integers are any number that we can count that is positive or negative. So that includes all whole numbers, zero, and then all negative numbers that don't have a decimal, negative one, negative two, negative three, and so on. So when we say we're adding integers, we're gonna look how do we add positive and negative numbers, or just negatives? So to start with, let's look at what happens when we do have one positive and one negative number. The question, 20 plus negative 35. So if we look at a number line to help us to start this, number line is at zero, we're starting at 20. Now we're adding negative 35. Now what that means, if it's negative, we're gonna be going to the left on our number line because normally adding we go to the right. So that means we're gonna go left from 20, 35. So plus negative 35. How can we count where this is gonna end up? Well, we can look and see First, how far does it take for us to get from 20 to zero? Well, that's 20. So this takes away 20 of our 35. Then if we keep going, how much is left over? If we take 20 away from 35, there's only 15 left, which means we would end up at negative 15. So this answer would be negative 15. And if you notice, 35 minus 20 is negative 15. So when we see that we have one positive and one negative number for addition, what we should always do is subtract the bigger number minus the smaller number. And we can figure out the sign by which number is bigger. Here, the bigger number is negative 35. That's negative, so our answer becomes negative. So let's look at another example of that. Negative 13 plus 33. Again, this time we're starting with a negative and we're adding a positive, but when we have a negative and a positive, we do the same thing. Subtract the bigger number from the smaller number, 33 minus 13, 3 minus 3 is 0, 3 minus 1 is 2, and then we look, which one is bigger, positive or the negative? This one's positive, so our answer would be positive. That means this equals positive 20. But what about if there is two negatives? Negative 32 plus negative 10. Well, if we look at this on a number line, here we're starting at negative 32 and it's telling us from that we're going 10 more to the left. Well, if we're going 10 more negative, that means 10 further would be negative 42. We can simply add those negative numbers and the answer will be negative. 32 plus 10 is 42. They're both negatives. So negative 42 is our answer. So take a moment, pause the video, and try practicing these three on your own. And then when you finished, unpause and you can see the answers. Okay, so hopefully you've tried those. If you looked at this first one, you saw that there were two negatives. That means we can simply add those numbers up negative 42 plus negative 13, we get 5, 5, 55, because it's negative plus a negative, our answer is negative 55. Number 2, negative 20 plus 5, because 1 is negative, 1 is positive, we can subtract those. 20 minus 5 is 15. The negative one is bigger, so our answer is negative 15. And last, 14 plus negative 10. 
one positive, one negative, so subtract the numbers. 14 minus 10 is four. Which one is bigger? The positive, so our answer is positive four. So hopefully you got those answers right. Uh, the key to remember is if you have a negative and a positive, subtract the numbers and the answer is the sign of the bigger number. And if you have two negatives, add them together and your answer is negative. Now go on to try the practice assignment and then you can try the test for this unit.